everybody. Here's that uh, theorem that I've been asking you guys to skip on certain problems, and uh, we're going to address it now. And it's called, it's the fifth way to prove that triangles are congruent. It's called the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. And so here it is. If the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and a leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Before we do go any further, to understand this theorem, you have to be very clear on what the hypotenuse and a leg is of a right triangle. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, and it's also the longest side of a right triangle. The legs are either of the other two sides. There's This is leg one, leg two, or vice versa. It doesn't matter which one you call the leg. So what you need is two triangles that are right triangles where the hypotenuses are congruent and one of the pairs of legs are congruent. Let's look at a couple examples. This first one is a very common mistake for students on the left. This is a not HL congruency theorem. Now, I'm not saying these triangles aren't congruent. I'm just saying that you cannot show it by the hypotenuse leg theorem. So let's take a look. All right, so on the triangle left, is it a right triangle? Yes, it is. Bingo. Are the hypotenuses, oh, I'm sorry, is this other one a right triangle? And it is. Bingo. Are the hypotenuses of those two triangles congruent? And the answer would be no, because if you look opposite the right angle, this side is not congruent to this side, or it's not marked that way. Now, some of you may know a theorem that's coming later called the Pythagorean theorem, but we got to say that. If you know that theorem, you may know something that we could use to make to make us use the hypotenuse leg, but don't worry about that right now. So now, they're not congruent by the hypotenuse leg theorem, but my question is, are they congruent? We'll take a look. We have four other ways to show triangles are congruent. One of them has an angle included between the other two sides. And in both these cases, it is. So this is actually a side angle side congruency theorem. The mistake students make is that they will say, hey, it's a right triangle. If it's a hypotenuse leg, then it is, they are congruent. And if it's not hypotenuse leg, then it's not. That's not the case. It could be true by one of the other four ways to prove triangles are congruent. So we could say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Now I got, you guys know me, I got to take my time and make sure I get the congruency statement right. A I think would correspond to D, E, F, and this is by side angle side because that angle is included. Now let's look at one that is hypotenuse leg. Two right triangles, check. They have to be right triangles. I keep saying that. Don't use HL on something that's not a right triangle. Um, are the hypotenuses congruent? And those are the sides opposite the right angles, and they are. They're double tick marked. Now, do you have at least one pair of legs marked congruent? And we do. These are the legs because it's, they're not the hypotenuse. So this is an HL situation. You could show that these two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg theorem. So triangle GHI is congruent to triangle. How about JKL by H L. You could actually have two right triangles that are not congruent at all. I'm not showing that situation. I'm just showing the most common mistake and a way to do it. Thanks for listening. Bye.